Hi, this is Jack from Cetonix Synth. In this video, we're going to build one of our marsupial dual VCF kits for Eurorack. The marsupial is an 8HP module that offers two separate bandpass, lowpass filters, which can be easily configured in either series or parallel modes. Both filters sound really nice either flat or with the resonance cranked, and the panel offers a lot of modulation options. Before soldering, it's a good idea to check out our build manuals and the bill of materials at ctenixsynth.com documentation. Each marsupial kit should contain one power cable, three metal shaft potentiometers, knobs and hardware, two plastic shaft potentiometers, ten Thonka con jacks with nuts, two headers, one ten pin and one three pin, two multi-turn trim pots, one switch with hardware, and two red LEDs. Let's build this kit. First, we're going to install through-hole parts on the rear of the board. Place the power header in its footprint and solder one leg so it stays in place. Then do the same with the three-pin header. Then, solder the two multi-turn trim pots. Pin one of each faces to the right looking at the back of the board straight on. Hold the board in place while you solder the other pins of the through-hole parts. For the power header, it might be a good idea to use the power ribbon cable to hold the pins in place while soldering. The thickness of the ground plane on these boards means you might need to use a high temperature while soldering some connections. If you burn flux while soldering, that's okay, but it's a good idea to clean it off with isopropyl alcohol using a toothbrush or cotton swab. Once the board is clean, you're ready to mount your panel hardware. First, clip the tabs off the potentiometers and seat all the hardware on the front of the PCB, but don't solder anything yet. Do the LEDs last. The short leg, or cathode, should go in the square-shaped hole on each footprint. Put the metal washers on each potentiometer, then put the panel over the frontal hardware. Once the panel is firmly seated, hold it in place while you tighten nuts onto the pots, switch, and jacks by hand. One by one, seat each LED in its front panel hole and solder one leg so that the LED stays put, then solder the other leg and trim them with edge cutters.
the LEDs are in place, solder all the other hardware except for the plastic potentiometers. stage, everything should be fully soldered except the plastic potentiometers. In order to solder these correctly, flip the module over and solder one leg of one pot first, then check to make sure the potentiometer is straight and the shaft isn't touching the panel when you rotate it. If it isn't straight at first, reheat the pad and adjust the pots with your fingers until both are straight. Once the plastic potentiometers are straight, flip the module over and solder the other pads of each potentiometer. It's a good idea to test and calibrate your module at this stage. Once the module is tested, affix the knobs. Don't forget the brass pot adapters, which can either be put on the potentiometer before the knob, or placed inside the knob before it goes on the pot. Then tighten the ThonkaCon nuts with a tool if you have one. Congratulations, you finished building the marsupial. Enjoy your module!